My name is Craig McIntosh. I'm a professor of economics at the Policy School at UCSD, and I'm working with my colleague Lauren Berquist on a project called Building Market Linkages for Smallholder Farmers in Uganda. So the basic idea of the project is that we think that the intermediary markets in African food output markets are, are very inefficient, that there's a lot of intermediaries, there's a lot of frictions and transactions costs that go between where the farmers sell at farm gate and the final purpose of the grain, destination of the grain. And those inefficiencies have really big welfare costs. They mean prices fluctuate a lot from season to season. People are always selling low and buying high. Uh, people pay very large transportation costs and that these are not only hurting welfare in a static sense, but that that inefficiency means that when a group of farmers actually succeed in raising productivity and increasing yields, those yields get dumped onto very shallow local markets, prices fall, and so it's a disincentive for uh, African farmers to increase agricultural productivity. So what we're doing is working with a team. We're working with Agrinet, which is a large private sector intermediary firm in Uganda. And then we're working with a software platform called Kudu, which is uh, written by programmers at Makerere University in Kampala. And what we're trying to do is bring all of these pieces together to field a high-tech ICT-based trading platform, which can be put out in the field in Uganda and can try to make markets more efficient by reducing search costs, uh, by reducing transaction costs, by allowing farmers to find better buyers who pay higher prices, and to basically cut a set of intermediaries out of these markets. So uh, we have a very large scale randomized control trial. It covers 12% of the surface area of Uganda. We have 240 markets on which we're gathering market price data every two weeks. We're sending out 100,000 SMS messages a month, and these are being used to try to pull trade into the platform and to encourage farmers and buyers to trade in a completely new way. So over the course of the last few months, which was uh, one of the harvest seasons in Uganda, we had about 500 trades move through the platform. Uh, we've sold about 3,500 tons of grain through the platform, and we're seeing a significant effect on price convergence, meaning that when two markets are both in the treatment, it looks as if the prices in those two markets have moved together by about 15%. So we haven't yet done our end lines, we don't have the final impacts, but we've got a lot of trade moving through the platform and some very exciting preliminary evidence that this may be a meaningful way of making markets more efficient for smallholder farmers.